Welcome to the Back of the Net Match Day Vlog. Look, if you're new to the channel, my name's Sam. We're a Bournemouth fan channel, and today it's the first of two Saturday games at our spiritual home. We've got Leicester next week. Today, though, it's Brentford. Is this a Premier League fixture? Apparently, it is. It's going to be a tough game against a side that's adapted to the Premier League really well, but we're going to take you through the day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. But now, we're heading off to the Brunswick. Let's go. Tom Jordan. Hi, mate. I haven't spoke to you yet. How are you, mate? You all yeah, right? Good, so. Yeah, very good. Uh, right, teams are out, mate. What's, what's going on? I've uh, got one wrong. Oh, go on. Christie's been left on the bench, maybe because of international duty, uh, but Kiefer Moore's in, so I'm not sure on the system. Um, so it looks like, I mean, look at that on paper, it looks like a 4 3 1 2 maybe. We're billing off Kiefer Moore and Solanke and then a narrow three, but I'm not sure. Um, Tavernier could play obviously on the right, but then does Billing play wide left? I'm not sure. But only one winger in there in Tavernier. So yeah, Christy out, Moore in. Um, happy with Moore in, but I'm just not sure how we're going to actually line up with the system. Um, just wait for the work from one. They're, they're a bit delayed. Matt Davies, last time I saw you, you were passionate as hell yeah. after a 3 2 victory. Are we going to have a victory today, mate? It's going to be yeah. a tough game. Yeah, it'll be tough. Uh, yeah, we, we kindled a bit of. Uh, Something ignited me at Nottingham Forest. I felt like we got our Bournemouth back after recent times, and it was amazing, wasn't it? What a great away day. It feels like ages since we played, doesn't it? It feels like we've had a, an international break, obviously, what happened with the Queen. So it's great to be back. Um, I've seen the team news, and me and Steve were just, just chatting. How, how, how is he set up? Um, looking at the personnel, it could be a 3 5 2. We could go 4 5 1, couldn't we? How, how is he going to set up? I personally think he's probably matched Brentford up and gone with a 3 5 2. Personally. He might even drop Jeff Lerma into a back three um, with Smith and Zamura at wing back. Um, and then the midfield trio probably Tavernier, Billion, and Cook with Kiefer Moore and Dom Solanke up top, which works so well against Aston Villa. But it could equally be a 4 5 1. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, it would be a tricky one, but I, I, I quite like, I quite like the. Um, Kiefer Moore getting in there today and roughly about and it, it gives Solanke someone next to him, which I like. It does, it probably brings out the best of Solanke and yeah. also you know, Kiefer Moore can be a threat as well. Have you got an early prediction for me, mate? I mean, I went for a draw, but 2 1. I think we might nick it, we might nick it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna nick it today. Hansman, Ben, what's your prediction today? Oh, I think we're gonna win 2 0. Let's see what Adam thinks. Adam, how are you, mate? Yeah. What are you going for? Uh, three nil. Daddy Hensburn. Afternoon. How are you, mate? You're very well. Um, Brentford's. It's not a Premier League fixture, is it? It's a. It's a League, it's a league one, one fixture. It? Yes, it is, mate. Yes. Very, very fond memories of this down through the years. Both teams have come on leaps and bounds, but in the grand scheme of things, they're probably ahead of us now, aren't they? Ever so slightly, I think they've got a, a very good base model in place. We uh, might have that to come, who knows? Oh, look, in, mate, in the coming weeks. Can I just pan around? What's this? Well, <laughs> can I just show you something, though? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was a little cheeky one. Money, but that's why you offered me a pint. Milky bars are on me today. What I do know is it'll be a very, very tough game today. Brentford are no mugs at this level. Um, uh, they're very physical. They obviously they offer a lot of threat from set pieces. So we're going to have to be um, we're after going to be we're going to have to be on our game, which I'm sure we will be. I'm sure Gary O'Neill's got us set up to do so. But it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. I, I predict it'll be a very tight affair. I think it'll be um, it'll ebb and flow. There'll be a fast pace to the game. It'll be a contrast in styles as well, which will be interesting to see how that pans out. Well, I am feeling positive and I'm going for a 2 1 Bournemouth win. I think Dom Solanke on the score sheet again. I fancy Kiefer Moore to notch as well. And I think we're going into the top half. Adam Gaffer I was saying it to Tom a minute ago. I, I don't know, I fancy a tight affair today. I think it's going to be. I, I, I think it looks like we're matching them up. So it could be like a bit of a ball draw. Ball draw. But, um, I, Either, either side can have got the capabilities of sneaking. I think the big miss for them is Norgard today, um, and we're going two up top, which we haven't seen very often. So, 
if we've got any chance, I think it would be us to get that chance. Alright, I'll change it to a sneaky one there. Love it. One there. So, we've left the Brunswick, we're on our way to Dean Court. I can't wait to get back there. Hello. Hello. You alright? How are you mate? You alright? Yeah, not too bad. You, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I said, uh, it's, a weird, it's a weird game today. I don't think the football nation are really excited about this game as much as we are, are they? What, the, the League One derby? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, I like it though. It's nice, isn't it? It's like two clubs that have, that have punched me up above their weight, some would say, from a, certainly from a size of uh, ground and history point of view. But hey, look, we make our history as we go forward, don't we? Yeah. And we, we are making history all the time. Right. I'm going to go for a 2-1 uh, prediction as per my preview. Tiggs? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to match it. I'm going to match it. 2-1 as well. Yeah. I'll be scoring. Checking for a possible penalty. I mean, it's huge if it is. I suspect it's going to get waved on. Oh, he's still being told to wait. He's going to have a look at it. He's going to have a look at it. Uh, you know what this usually means, Nick? It usually means he's going to turn his decision over. So that means someone in his ears said, have a look, because I'm wow. not so sure you're right there. This could be interesting. It felt like it was a very, very pretty spell of possession. Yeah. But he, he's taken a solid look, isn't he? The fans are waiting, the fans are waiting. Come on. having to shoot players away. So the ref can have a look. Hands on hips. I mean, this would be a bit of an anti-climax now. How many times has he looked at it? He stood there, he's got all the, got the Bournemouth fans behind the screen. That can't be easy for him. Actually, he might be watching something else. about the idea of a Solanke more combo. Yeah. You know, going forward. I can see them being, you know, best buds. Yeah. So <laughs> share a room together, drive up the games together, you know? Yeah. Maybe have a share, share like a like a, a picture of beer and a, and, a, and a bucket of wings or something. I could just <laughs> yeah. see them too. Maybe a buddy cop movie. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Solanke and more. It's uh yeah. It's, it's not been brilliant this half. We've done half time soon.
Far post, it's near the set piece, set piece. Oh, back into the Oh, hello! Oh! Jefferson Lava with the header there, clean off the line! That was nice, good delivery by Tavernier, that was a set piece, mate. Gorgeous. Oh my god, oh my god, there's a chance! a bit of a melee at the end, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. we could have taken it first. We had a really good chance there, but it just, it just lacked a little bit of composure, and then it just, too many bodies, everyone bumped together. It's a bit of a shame, really. I love, I love the way the VAR chart, by the way, reminds me of something like a 1980s wrestling show, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, love it. In the box. Good, good cross. Come on, Jerry. Can't imagine there's going to be many people wanting to chat after that, but let's find out if they do, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I won't pass say what part of my body. There you go there, Tix. Hello, do I just pull that or do I leave this on? Or what do I do? Yeah, leave it on, leave it on. I'll leave it on. Do I talk uh, into it? <laughs> no, it's fine. Should we uh, how do you think that went there, mate? Free for all. Uh, the free for all. Oh, it was uh, lovely. It was nice to see some different faces. Lovely to get a, a lot I love it when a, uh, an opposing fan comes on. And a lot of positivity as well, wasn't there? Yeah, definitely. Lots of positivity. Despite a you know, a reasonably dull game, it wasn't really about that, it's about you know the journey. And, and then, you know, we're looking solid at the moment, aren't we? Here is pundit extraordinaire, Ollie. Uh, we just missed you on the free-for-all, yeah. mate, but uh, nice to catch your opinion. What do you think of that, mate, uh, that game, mate? It was, uh, it was a little bit dull, but we negated them, they negated us. Yeah. It was uh, nothing I mean, to it. I, I know I definitely said this last time I was on it. There were a few pens yeah. uh, that should have been given. Um, <laughs> last time you said four or something. Yeah, this time I, I think it was three, but I, um, as Tom said earlier to me, um, the ref was very inexperienced. He um, only, that was only his second ever Premier League game, yeah. um, and I think that really showed through. Um, and of course, you always want to believe in incompetence rather than malice. Yeah. And in this time, I don't know. It, it really is a fifty-fifty. Right, look at this fella. This is Jesse Zamora, yeah. brothers of Jay Z, mate. How are you? I'm doing good. Have you got a left foot as good as him? Nah, right for <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, what do you think of the game today, mate? It was, um, it was a bit of a dull one, really, I wasn't know. it? No, it's like the game had some uh, good, good stuff and bad stuff at the same time. But the last, last minute should have been a penalty right yeah. there. Uh, it was a penalty all day long. I don't know what the ref was doing. Well, yeah, but we have to go get them next time. At least the one point. At yeah. least we got the one point. Then, yeah. I, I think um, Jordan Zamora was definitely very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a guy behind me. Uh, his his mate was watching on the TV. Uh, he sent him over a clip, and it was, it was a clear pen. Oh, really? Clear pen. What, what do you think of um, Gary O'Neill's chances then of being permanent manager at Bournemouth? Do you think it could happen? I think he's certainly doing well yeah. for now. Um, I mean, it, it's a tough one really because you you want to say, oh, I hope this form continues. I hope we keep grinding out these results. But you just don't know, um, and that, that's really the worry. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it was a good game today, and, and the thing is, you, you look at some of the the um, handballs that they did today in the box, and, and you and you think about the last two penalties that we've given away uh, for handballs in the box, and our ones were so much softer than what they were doing. It, you know, I just want to see a bit more continuity. And a, a, a great fact I have for you. Go on. Well, where do you think we'd be in the table if VAR was not in use? Oh, I, you know what? I've got a feeling I've seen this, but like... Yeah, it, it was released yesterday. Yeah, go on. Sixth. Oh, mate. 
which well, is just crazy. You um, you got to be so proud of how Jordan yeah, has it's, come it's, on leaps and bounds. You know what? Exactly. When he started in the championship, we were wondering whether he'd have a, this like experience that he. I mean, he took to it like a duck to water, yeah. and now in the Premier League. He's it's taken crazy. that step That's up as massive, well. Massive step. He got released from Charlton, and like he mm. thought it was over. And then luckily, like his agent got into Bournemouth for trials and everything. So it's just like been crazy, like a crazy roller coaster ride from yeah. here, from there on, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you must be a very proud brother, right? Yeah, I'm very proud of him. Right. Big question: Are Bournemouth staying up this season, mate? Right now, they're doing so good. So I'd say they're staying up. They're staying up. Like love this man. They're staying up, man. Yeah. They're staying up. Love it. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on, buddy. No problem. Cheers, man. mate. So, home sweet home. It was insipid, wasn't it? It was a bit turgid, a little bit dull, really. But it's another point on the board for AFC Bournemouth. There's a lot of controversy that I'm seeing on Twitter about VAR. Just seen Chris Temple's tweet, who said that, by the book, the referee probably got it right. However, you do look at it sometimes and you still think there's inconsistency within the game with some of these decisions. But look, nil all, as some people say, it was not a bad result against Brentford. You'd have taken a draw before the game. But sometimes when you smell blood, and I thought they weren't at the races today, sometimes you just want us to put in more of a shift to try to get the three points. As it is, it was almost like it was a do not lose match. But look, we can't complain. It's another match where we've not lost to a team outside the top six. And you know what? We're rocking and rolling on to Leicester at home, who've still only got one point on the board as it stands. Maybe next week presents a chance for us to get three. By the way, before we move on, I've got to say something. A very happy 50th birthday to Tommy Heffernan's poodle. Guy, you know who you are. Happy birthday. I gather you were at Dean Court wearing some... Special gear today. I've been sent a few photos and it was your birthday on Thursday. Hope you had a good one, mate. I said I'd put this on the vlog and I have. Hope you had a good one. Shame that the result wasn't wasn't really what you wanted, but uh, never mind anyway. Look, we're going to be talking about this match. We've got the Premier League show and a lot more besides coming up next week on Back of the Net. So you know what to do. There's a little subscribe button. Make sure you press it. But until the next video, up the chest.